I'm going to show you a glitch that lets you level up any of your Pokemon from level 1 all the way to level 100 in 30 minutes. And if your Pokemon's already like level 50 or something, then it's only going to be like 15 to 20 minutes per Pokemon. So if you're catching level 50s and then doing this, it's literally going to be like 4 Pokemon per hour hitting level 100. So this exploit is totally insanely busted. Now in order to do this, you are going to have to beat the first part of the game, which means doing all the gyms, all the secret bases, and all the titan battles, and then beating the Elite Four, and then beating the Crater. After you do all that, uh, then you'll be able to put Mariodon into battle form, so or, or Karyodon, whichever one. So you'll be able to do this to him and tell him to go into battle form. And that is the first thing that you're going to need. Uh, the next thing that you're going to need is you're going to need at least one of the XP candies XP Candy XL. Now, one guaranteed way to get one of these is to do a five-star raid. I don't know if you can get it from a four-star or not, but I know a five-star can do it. Um, I don't know. There's probably some other way to get it because I had one before I even did a five-star. So if you have one, you're in luck. If not, you can do a five-star raid. And if you want to do an easy five-star raid, go to the Poke Portal and just connect to the internet. And then go to uh, Terra Raid Battle over here once you're connected. And then it'll literally show you a bunch of Terra Raid battles from across the internet. And you can just try to join a five star and sooner or later you'll join a five star and someone the other three people will just carry you no matter what at some point so just keep doing this till you win one and you get an xp candy xl and once you have that xp candy xl then you are good to go and we can you know do the exploit and then there's one more thing we're going to need to buy after that so we're gonna have to go to a pokemart and once you've gone this far in the game where you can actually put ride on or cried on a battle form then uh, you have a ton more stuff for sale at the Pokemart, and you're going to need Quick Balls. So, you're going to get as many Quick Balls as you want XP. Uh, 60 Quick Balls should last you around an hour once you get fast at this. So, uh, it's a little expensive, but it's totally worth it. So, just go ahead and buy however many you want to buy for what we're about to do. Alright, then the next thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to fly to the lowest level zone in the entire game. So, I personally prefer to go to... Los Platos East, which is south of Mesa Goza. And around here are Pokemon that you can throw a kick quick ball at, and it'll catch them instantly no matter what. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go into your inventory. Uh, like I said, you're going to put Crydon into battle form, and then you're going to give him a held item. So I'm going to put away his held item just so I can show you. So he'll naturally have no item. And you'll go to your bag, and then you're going to go to the XP Candy XL. You're going to give it to Crydon or Mariodon. Then, you're going to go here and you see... Okay, he has it. You want to double check that. Okay. Now what you have to do is you have to jump on him and jump off of him. And then this will put him back into his transport form. Then, after that, you have to do that. It's as redundant as that seems. You have to do that one time. Then you can go to him and change him again to battle form again. Okay, now you're good to go after doing that one step. Okay, so... Now that you're good to go, you're going to run over to any Pokemon over here, since they're all low level. You're going to get into a battle with them, and you're immediately going to just throw the Quick Ball. And once you've done this enough times, you're going to want to do all this as fast as you can if you want to do this as fast as possible. If you want the full level 100 every 30 minutes, you're going to have to like do this, get faster and faster at this process. But uh, anyway, you're going to immediately catch with Quick Ball, then it's going to, you know, do you want a nickname, whatever. You say no to the nickname, and then it's going to want you to put it in the party, or you can put it in the party. So you add it to your party, and then you go down to Crydon or Mariodon, and this is where the dupe exploit comes into play. So if you press A, it says you can't send Crydon or Mariodon to your boxes. And if you press B, it will just throw the whatever you caught into your boxes, and it's all, you know, you have to go catch another one. But if you press A and then press B right afterwards and you do it fast enough, then it will do this weird thing. So, like, I'm going to try to do here A, then B, okay? So, it's A and then B, but really fast. So, A, B. I did it first try. Uh, and it'll say that he has an XP Candy XL. What do you want to do? Okay, you're going to say you want to place this item in your bag. Okay, so you place the Candy XL in your bag. And then that po the Pokemon was added into your inventory. Now, or it's your party. Now, you're looking here. There is no Crydon and Maridon now, but that's not necessarily possible. You're not supposed to actually put him away. So what happens is, if you ride him now, now you go to your inventory, and there he is again. But if you go to your boxes, and I've already done this a few times, so you're going to see something real weird in here. Uh, there's Crydon in your boxes as well. And 
the crown on the box obviously doesn't have the item. But what we're going to do here now, and when you're doing this in like a fast succession, you're going to immediately go to your boxes. You're going to catch, get the new Pokemon you caught. You're going to release it to make room for another Maridon or Crydon. You're going to back out. And then you're going to go down here and you're going to put it back into battle form. And you'll notice that now that it's in battle form, it still has the XP Candy XL. But if I go to my bag, I have another XP Candy XL in here. And so we just duplicated the XP Candy XL. So now the question you end up getting here is how can we do this as fast as physically possible? And I've done some tests on this to see like once you get into a rhythm, you go as fast as you possibly can. It does seem like you can do about one cycle every 50 seconds, which would be about 2 million XP worth of candies every hour. And to see now, uh, how much it how much it takes for a Pokemon level 100. Not, not all Pokemon need the same amount of XP to level 100, I think. But as a reference point, uh, Meowskarada needs around a million. And since we can effectively get at the fastest speed around 2 million XP of candies per hour, that means that we can take two Pokemon from level 1 all the way to level 100 every hour. So in three hours, you can have a full party of level 100s by doing this. And again, if you're starting at level 50, which none of these are level 50 to look at, but uh, at level 70, so at level 50, you'd only need like maybe 700,000 XP or something like that. So you could do three Pokemon per hour if they were all around level 50 when you start. So if you're catching them at level 50, then that makes us, you know, a lot faster. Uh, but so then let me do this again, show you just how fast you can go here. So ideally now, so I'm all set up. So it's going to look like this to do it. So you're going to get into the battle. You're going to, as quickly as you can get yourself to reasonably do it, you're going to throw a quick ball. And I've tested this, like I said, I've tested this a ton of times. And you can really get this down under a minute. And, and that's really what you need. So now you're just going to spam B until you get to the nickname phase. Okay, spam and B. Spam and B still. Okay, no to the nickname, spamming A. All right, and be careful not to swap the first one. This one, then A, then B. Place item in bag. Candy's in the bag. Okay, he's thrown into my party. You're going to open up the menu. You're going to go to boxes immediately. You're going you're going to go over to the left, go down, up, up, release, and then yes. And then back out. And then you're going to get on the mount while you run to the next one, then get off the mount. And then go over here, and then you are going to change it back to battle form. Ready for battle. And then you're going to go into the next battle. And that took me right around 50 seconds, I think, when I look at the time. It was somewhere between 50 and 55, I'm pretty sure. And then you'll, again, just repeat the process. You just catch another one. And you catch another one. And you catch another one. And you just keep on farming these XL candies. And that's it. And that will get you uh, some serious XP. Uh, so if you want to get all your Pokemon up to level 100, like I said, it'll just take you, depending on where you're already at, it, it'll take you, you know, just an hour or two or three max. Uh, but again, you'll have to have beaten the game in order to do this uh but not the full game because there's a post game if you're not aware uh but you just have to beat the first part of the game oh, if i messed i messed up press b on accident uh but you also have to um, beat the first part of the game you just need to be able to get on karyadon or, or mariah or put them into battle form that's literally all that you need so there you have it that's the best xp glitch exploit in the entire game so far i mean i hope hopefully someone will find a way to duplicate these in mass or something but as of right now as far as i'm aware this is literally the fastest XP. Now, some people might wonder, well, you could just do raids and get the XP candies. And I crunched the numbers on that. And in the best case scenario with raids, uh, if you are, you know, going through the Poke Portal and you're doing the matchmaking for the five star raids, and I guess six star might be a little different, but still, let's say five star. Um, it seemed like on average, because of disconnect issues, connection issues, and all that, that it was about once every 10 minutes that you could do a five star raid. And the five star raid would only give one XL candy and then like maybe six or seven large candies for a five star. And in and and that's assuming you win every single one. So like the best case scenario to compete with this would be doing raids with four friends where you're all searching for raids and trying to get one done every like five minutes or less. Um, and even then it's just gonna be like, you know, comparable speed. If you guys can do six star raids consistently at five minutes a piece. I don't know what the rewards are. If it gives multiple XL candies, then it's gonna be like pretty much similar to just duping like this. But the great thing about this one is you don't need friends. You don't need friends. And it's faster than just random online matchmaking by a lot. It's much faster. 
because you can get you know 11 or 12 xl candies in 10 minutes or you get one xl and like seven larges by on average 10 minute raids so uh yeah as far as i'm aware this is literally the fastest way uh, maybe outside of having an actual dedicated four man hunting for six star raids maybe but even that seems almost unlikely maybe but i'd have to actually fully test that as well which i'll be testing the next day or two but anyway that's enough of me talking about that so you guys go Moral story is, now you know how to get a Pokemon to, from level 1 to 100 every 30 minutes with a crazy XP dupe exploit in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet.